Kaijin's about to fall again soon. They just can't catch a break there. Who's attacking us, the Soviet? Eh, that's fine. Beijing has fallen a few times now. The city's going to be like Stalingrad. Yeah, it kind of is. Improved infantry equipment. Excellent. More soft attack. It is December 38, so I'm just going to wait for two more days. And then we'll pick a 1939 technology. Possibly artillery. Oh yeah, we have a surplus. And we're already training a full stack of... In fact, we've just got a new stack. Maybe even two new stacks. Where are they? No, just one. Uh, do I want you in the coastal garrison or do I want you somewhere else? Well, I think two of you can go and join them. Oops. That did not work. So you're up to a 24. Then I think the other three are going to join the uh, purples. Actually. Bring you up to an 18. Holding the line is all that matters. Japan does not have the manpower to take a well-fortified trainer. Absolutely not. Someone had a game where the warlords joined the Axis and nearly dragged Japan into a war with Germany. That would be an interesting state of affairs. I mean, it could well be that I'm dragged into a war with Germany. Because of Japan. But they haven't allied yet. So that's a good thing. Right, 39. More construction. Yes, please. Oh, I thought you had your capital unguarded there for a minute. Ah, oh, disappointed. All three of you should be able to hit him. You can. And as soon as we finish attacking here, we'll go and attack again. At war with Japan, picks fight with Yunnan, still winning. <laughs> Let's see if that lasts. Alright, so in the north we seem to be doing okay. We should be able to push them back a bit. Thankfully we have a very well equipped and supplied army. Jian Jin's doing a fairly decent job of holding us back though. But remember, we are fighting at 100% efficiency now. We don't have that minus 50% modifier anymore. The Chinese have learnt how to fight. Someone taught them how to reload. But Germany is so far away from China, what are they going to do? Send the navy. Yeah, that's true. They'd have to like fight through the Soviet Union or the Raj first. Plus everything else. Oh, look at that. Another naval invasion. They're getting worse and worse. These two must be getting some serious experience. Right, we're on the outskirts of Beijing once again. Tianjin's going to fall soon. Yep, they've lost a million. I'm still at half a million. Uh, my offensives here have almost stalled. All of you lot should be able to take them. We should be able to take that. And if we can surround Yunnan or something like that, that would be actually really good. You may lose. You shouldn't. Also, remember my air force is attached to the blues. So they should be following over there. Uh, one thing which wouldn't be a bad idea is to start actually taking up my air force abilities. Also, why is nobody guarding this bit? Purples and reds. I think that's going to be your job. Because the yellow's already fairly well extended. I love the idea that someone took this and then just withdrew again. It's like, yeah, we took the land. We left. It was boring. Chan Jin's ours. Good. Good. Uh, 
And if we can get Kunming surrounded, I'll be very happy. Yeah, you guys are losing. Which means that this one of these could go and reinforce in either direction, which would be kind of irritating. Oh, look at that, another naval invasion. Right, are there any abilities that you could get? No. Infantry division attack. I mean, we are going to be using infantry a lot. And I suspect that we are over the worst of the defensive wars. Plus, we do have a lot of defensive ability. I don't actually rate entrenchment that highly. I'm just trying to think if you're ever going to get any other traits. I don't know if the number of trait slots we have available ever goes up either. You don't have any. You do. Infantry expert. Who's this? Red. Uh, Red could probably do with it. You've already got organizer. Yeah, you can go and grab that one. You've not leveled. You have. Uh, you could get improvisation expert or a guerrilla fighter. I think I'm going to hold off on yours and same with yours. Okay. One thing I noticed is that I'm getting quite a few telephones at this point. And that maxes out at 105. Beijing's ours. And we do have reinforcements coming in to defend. German Reich claims Memel. Saber rattling against Lithuania. I wouldn't put it beyond Hitler to declare war on everyone between him and China. Yeah. They fixed that. Japan's a separate faction from Germany, but Germany and Japan guarantee each other, so the Allies come in turn can't attack them separately. Ah, okay. Um, well, we've bust through here. So, quite frankly, I'm thinking of doing something like this. Let's make that a little easier. Let's do that. Double tunnel through here. Cut these guys off. Take them out and then go after the capital properly. Plus capital completely surrounded. Chinese general staff. So we could get the wargaming division which means more command power and also a 50% faster land doctrine. We would still need to purchase the tanks so we can get 100 old tanks. I mean that would ultimately lead to the uh, tank plant which is another two factories which I quite like and that does not increase my inflation. Unlike my other economy bonuses. Armoured vehicles will form the spearhead of modern warfare. We should make a modest purchase of tanks in preparation of forming the first armoured units of the Chinese army. I think the support Kadoda faction leads to joining the Axis. Tripartite Pact, that's the guarantees, I believe. Alliance with Siam, non-aggression with the Soviets, Philippines. It's not those. I wanted to see where they're Focus to attack Pearl Harbor is. That's the Democratic. Oh, that was support, not purge. They've done purge, which is... Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. Support the Kodar faction. 
London Naval Treaty, which is going pro-allies. Non-aggression with China. That's interesting. Oh, this is anti-Soviet. Japan seeks to join the Axis. There it is. Technological exchange. Then preemptive war against the Soviets. Yeah, they've definitely done some more interesting things with the focuses, so it might well be worth visiting this a little bit more. Ooh, you've actually got a cut off on me. That's not very nice. So you've left your capital pretty unguarded. Oops, no, no, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, you know what? You go and assist that attack. We still haven't pushed down here. Yeah, you guys are getting squished kind of hard right now. Let's bring you guys in. Hopefully we can take out Kunming. Which will also lead to uh, reuniting these. Oh, look at that, another naval invasion. Who was it that said that Japan doesn't do naval invasions? They clearly do. Alright. Yellows, you may as well push out as well. We're pushing pretty hard against the Japanese in general now. We just need to make sure that we keep back filling behind us. With this guy. Which currently we are. Definitely four distinct paths to Japan. Attack China, attack the USSR, go communist, go democratic. Oh, we broke through and we took the capital. Oh, of course, you joined them. Cheeky. Um, oh, no, keep going. Let's cut them off. You guys are about to get routed, but that's fine. Ooh, free military factories. I don't get those very often. I think it's time to actually start learning about artillery. Let's get 10 factories on artillery. And we're also going to need some more trade. Hi, Germany. Thank you, Germany. Alright, you guys are doing just fine over there. Assaults over here, still ongoing and brutal. We've actually got some breathing space around Beijing. That toad artillery looks like it came from Ultimate General Civil War. It kind of does. Well, I guess all I can say to that is we now know it's good. <laughs> We know it's functional. <laughs> Waffle crushed. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Maudlings. All right. Um, we are slowly but surely pushing these guys back. Let's go and widen the exchange over there. You guys hit that. You guys hit that. You guys assist that. Then everyone on this side. Oh, they just re Damn it! I didn't realize it was not- um, uh, I thought it was paused while I was doing that. Now I've just completely screwed up the, the orders. 
Let's try that again, oh, shall we? I want this. Go. Furthermore, I want this. I want you to support it. Alright, keep up the offensives, keep up the pressure, and try not to get cut off. I think that is generally the moral of the story here. You head down there, you assist him. Modify government! Right, what do we want now? Division recovery rate would be quite nice. We could go for the Sino-German technical mission for the Additional armor for my heavy tanks. Political power. Stability boost. That's a big stability boost. First Lady of the Republic. Madame Soong. I mean, my war support is still kind of low. My stability, though, is good. So I don't think we, th but I don't think we particularly need the popular figurehead. We don't also have the industrial concern, although these are just a lot less interesting than they are in Kaiserreich. Go for the military theorist, get doctrines faster. Bow your bow. Although we're going on the short doctrine track, so less point in doing that. I kind of like the idea of the extra division recovery. Although my recovery rate is going to be obscene. We're going to have the 8% from this. 5%, no, 20% from mass assault. And then the 5% from radios. Let's double down. We're going to have an army that's just back to strength. First time viewer and getting terrible video quality. Is it just randomness or something you get a lot? Other than that, very happy with the choice of games and style of commentary. Looking forward to some more of the same. I think that's at your end. Because, yes, I stream at 1080, then you should have a, a toggle switch thing which lets you choose what um, quality you, should, you want it in. Figure one about 20 games, just work through all the focus choices. Well, one of my top, 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 top choices right now is to uh, play one's Germany. I really want to do the uh, Return of the Kaiser. Because you have to fight through a German civil war, then you don't go and pick on, like, Poland anymore. France might flip to communist. Uh, the Soviet Union becomes the big bad. There's loads of interesting things that happen then. I push the offensive through here. Not very effectively. Alright, leave it in your hands. Like, you've done a good job with this counterattack. We're, we're definitely taking territory at this stage. Meanwhile, the strike on Yunnan continues. Just need to make sure that I hold on to Kunming. I'm still training. I'm still making a surplus. I'm actually making a big surplus. Let's add another five. And now we're kind of ramping up for, like, a war against, I don't know, the Soviets or something. Despite the fact that the Soviets have been my closest ally throughout this entire thing. I really would rather you didn't die. I'm just not sure what I can do about this. Because they've doubled down over here. So what I could do is this. Ah. You. you stay here and just do what you can to defend. Alright, they're moving, they're moving.
Almost drove them through there. Good. Good. All right, go ahead and reposition. Yeah, having some more troops down here would actually be really helpful. When do I plan a Mongolian game? Uh, considering Mongolia don't have a focus tree, and that's kind of my thing, is if they have a focus tree, then I'll do it. Not for a while. If ever. As to a Kaiserreich Mongolia game, that I could do. Because that's one game I still haven't won. Maybe the only person more interested in democratic Germany than restoring the Kaiser. That would be too easy, though, having Germany on the Allies' side. Like, what's the threat? I kind of like what Quill and Spiffing did in the uh, Three Day War, where you have Austria Hungary recreating itself and Germany. Take my Ritz bits. Hello, Ben. Get it? Uh, no. <laughs> I might be having a slow day, though. And Ben, if you want a challenge, you should play as China. They're actually quite a big challenge. More than I expected. This is my... What is it? Third? Fourth retry? Something like that. I did not expect this to be so difficult. Thought you were being clever, all the ads these days are for Ritz Crackers. I would not know that because ads apparently don't exist in Britain. Oh, you won your fight, which means these guys cleared out and we can actually go and reunite. Marvelous. You go and continue your attack over there and just hope that these guys don't try to shift. And actually, you can stay right there if they're going to be connecting you. And there we go. I will not have lost a unit again. Yay. You mean playing as Communist China? I was waiting for a launch for Communist China. Because there are still one or two little jitters which I would quite like to see fixed. Menguko is dead. And I gained 400 guns. That, that's very generous of you. Thanks. 39. I'm sure there are better things I can do in 39. Like advanced machine tools. shang got it. Interesting. And there it is. We are connected and they are cut off. Huzzah! Um, you stay where you are and just recover. Now you've, you've had a bit of a, uh, a bit of an experience over there, shall we say. Okay, so everyone on this line, go kill that. Meanwhile, Japanese loss is now standing at 1.25 million, while well, minus 705,000. And you are again naval invading me in one of my strongest points. Now a level 3 coastal. Good. They got really close to taking it at one point, though, which I'm rather glad they didn't. Is there anything else you can spend command points on? Except for the special attacks and traits. I feel like there should be more. Oh wow, that's that's a major redeploy. You can send military attaches. And what do they do? Also cost a hundred political power though. Higher military cooperation gives us benefits in developing our strength. That's really unhelpful. What the hell does that mean? So this pocket's not left, long left for this world. They're dying and their strength is also going down so they've got to be out of gear now. Which is good. Which is very good. I think in general I just need more political power. 
I'm actually kind of tempted to get to 150 and then take the political power guy. Silent workhorse. Because I have just the blanket 0.25 increase plus the base 2. So 2.25. So a 15% increase is a fair chunk. Zog submits to Italy. And the Japanese are very much on the defensive, but look at these strengths. It's just not there. Ooh, but that's open. Got it. Are there any more units? Oh, yeah, there are. Which can join purples. Then after this, I think basically everyone's going to be just defense garrisons. Uh, the other thing I would like to do is change these templates. They're actually more decent. But I'm under no illusions of what that's going to cost. You know what? I'm going to cancel all of those. That's going to give me a fair old chunk back. And we're going to start just upgrading once I get those guns back. 8,000. Oh, there we go. We can do one right now. Save. Save.